welcome to Vertical File. I'm your host, John Connolly. Brian Donahue is a senior manager of ontology and data modeling at Capital One. In this role, he focuses on applying taxonomical and technology tools to facilitate information and data management. He holds a PhD in philosophy with a focus on applied ontology and a product manager machine learning certification from UC Berkeley. He resides in the Washington, D.C. area. This preview is of our full conversation. You can tune in next week wherever you find your podcast to get the entire thing. Something that I've seen almost always kind of come up in the same breath as ontology is the word taxonomy. So I'm hoping you can like shed some light for me. What's the difference between those two things conceptually and practically? Sure. So a, a taxonomy I would define as a way of organizing information like an ontology but one which is, you could say, hierarchical or one-dimensional um, would be another way of describing it. Um, and that's not a bad thing, one-dimensional, but it, it's just, it, it means that we've got like a single breakdown of um, categories and their subcategories and things like that. So, you know, we all, we all learned in high school biology about the, <laughs> the biological taxonomy, the Linnaean taxonomy, right? Um, and uh, how, uh, you know, kingdoms and, right, phylums and all that kind of stuff, um, how the, the species in the animal world break down um, or in the biological world break down. And um, a taxonomy is that kind of structure. It's a structure of, you could say, parents and children or um, super classes and subclasses, right? So it's a way of organizing information. It's this kind of um, way of mediating between here, you've got this ocean of data and you've got someone who's trying to understand that data and you've got a structure in place that helps organize the information. Um, the key thing about a taxonomy is that it is that hierarchical structure, which is great, but, um, and, and in fact, uh, within an ontology, there's often, a taxonomy is often part of an ontology. There's often that hierarchical structure there in an ontology. For example, to go back to the film example, right? You might have um, types of film, right? Genres of film that are categorized under a parent header of film, right? So you have comedy and drama and sci-fi and horror and all that stuff might be might be there in a kind of taxonomy of film categories. Where an ontology goes further is it's not limited to those types of um, hierarchy relationships, right? It also includes what you might think of as horizontal relationships. So it's not just is what are the different species of movie out there, right? But what are movies related to? A movie is related to an actor. It's related in some way to a director. It's connected in some way to a producer. It's connected to, it has these attributes of a release date or whatever. And those are not hierarchical or taxonomic information, right? That's not a way of just structuring things into bigger and smaller buckets, right? <laughs> it's painting a kind of web of information mm. about that thing. And it, it gives you a structure that includes the taxonomy, includes the hierarchy, but then goes beyond to um, include other other types of information that's relevant to the user. This has been Vertical File by Sutron Global. If you enjoyed this show, please rate us five stars wherever you find your podcasts. Check us out online at www.sutron.com.